Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Zach Lasage here. Today we're gonna be going over Stonjourner VMAX. Now, Stonjourner VMAX is a unique deck, and I really saw how this deck popped off at the Milwaukee Regional Championships with Travis Beckwith and Zach Cooper seeing some success with it. Now, all that putting aside, why is it being good now in our Pokemon Go format heading to Worlds? Well, with the format being centralized around Arceus and Teleon and Palkia, with Mew taking a severe dip in play, Stonjourner VMAX loses its worst matchup, Mew VMAX, and Palkia and Arc and Teleon are very played. Um, I saw a post this morning, I, I, I played in a tournament last night, I came second, um, kind of a small tournament, but regardless, I came second with Stonjourner VMAX after seeing Zach Cohen playing at the Late Night Series where they made top eight or top four, I believe. Um, Britt Pibus was asking me, who was part of the creation of the Mewtwo V Union Miltank deck, why would you just not play Mewtwo V Union on his question, just curious. And I didn't really have an answer, so I was like, how can we beat the Mewtwo V Union deck? Sometimes the Mewtwo V Union deck with Miltank does fall to Palkia. Sometimes it does fall to Arcanteleon. Those are rare cases, but they're not as favorable matchups as Stonjourner VMAX. I wouldn't ex I, I could expect this deck to make a deep run at Worlds, and I'm really not pulling your chain. This is absolutely a budget deck. I've updated the list completely after talking it over with Gabe Smart, so check out this video to learn more about my list, my gameplay, strategy. The list is available in the description. You can copy and paste it right into PTCGO. If you're trying to pick up any of these cards online, go to ptcgostore.com, plug in code ZLASAGE5, or you can go to atlastcg.com, plug in code ZLASAGE8 to save anything site-wide. They deliver worldwide, so check that out. That being said, if you want to learn more about this deck, I do offer coaching at metafi.gg slash at Zach Lesage. There's a link in there. If you're a first time coaching client, you get 30% off your session, which is absolutely bonkers. Be great heading into the new season, heading into worlds, heading into an online event, 1k anything. That being said, let's jump into this list. Like, share, and subscribe to this video. Let me know in the comments what's up, and let's jump into this deck. You are now watching Zach Lesage, the best place to learn about competitive Pokemon TCG. Let's get it. This is what we got going on with Stonjourner VMAX. Now, it might not seem like much, just kind of a gigantic rock stone Pokemon. Stone Pokemon? We'll go with stone Pokemon. Stone Jenner, got it. Uh, stone Gift allows us to accelerate energies to our uh, Pokemon. So it's one of those things where we can accelerate energies and we can also heal. We have a lot of HP, so we're going to be kind of going with a tanky approach. You really only want to get one of these set up into play at most points, uh, but sometimes you might need to have two if you don't think you're necessarily going to survive a hit. Remember, uh, by leaving a Stonjourner VMAX out there vulnerable and not knowing how much damage your opponent could hit, you could quite often just lose the game. Uh, Stonjourner V is not too bad, but it's more or less just an opportunity to evolve into a Stonjourner VMAX. Guard press doing 40 and reducing damage by 20 can save you, but just keep in mind that it has a low amount of HP. Uh, going through here, we can kind of accelerate our evolution process with Boo Shake if necessary. Maybe we need to survive a hit ASAP, or um, maybe we want to heal some things with Hyper Potion with us attaching extra energies with Stone Gift. Hyper Potion plus Stone Gift in a turn heals 240, and then we have Lucky Ice Pop if you got a little bit lucky. I mean, it still heals 20, but there's times where you can flip it three times and it's significant. Um, Sometimes it just takes the edge off. We also have Team Yell Towel, and our damage output probably doesn't matter too much. Even if our opponent has something that we're healing, a Team Yell Towel plus a Hyper Potion plus a Lucky Ice Pop likely heals what our opponent does, and then we two-shot our opponent. So our goal is to eventually attack our opponent. We're attacking kind of um, a tank deck that just heals a bunch. Now, there's a cool card in here that, I, I mean, uh, it's really weird, <laughs> uh, but I'll explain in a bit. Dynatree Hill, you might be like, Zach, why do you have all these healing cards and uh, both Pokemon, both yours and your opponent can't be healed? Well, this is really for the Mewtwo V Union matchup, so they can't use Super Regeneration. With them only playing one copy of Rose Tower, one copy of Pokestop, maybe two copies of Stadiums at times, they're likely gonna get that into play very early. You can kind of uh, drop this Dynatree Hill late game and hit your opponent with max rockfall now if they don't go silene puku muku they might not be able to fully heal and we might be able to knock them out with max rockfall in entirety um getting past their mewtwo v union portion of the deck at that point we can find ways to get through their mill tanks with things such as phoebe um that they have left in that matchup turning an absolute auto loss into an auto win or maybe a favorable matchup or an opportunity to win against that matchup. These are ideas that can only work in certain circumstances and we don't have too much control, but they're not really gonna be decking us out if we don't need to and we have opportunities here so dynatree hill gives us an opportunity but only be using it against decks that are healing more than you or anything else like that we have training court um training court allows us to get back our energies that we discard with hyper potions so we can attach them with stone gift and create some kind of loop um, most of us only play one training court we're having two training court here to get around the dynatree hill 
If Ray allows you to slow down your opponent's uh, decks like Palkia, they have a large bench, they do more damage based off their bench. With you only having one Pokemon in play, uh, quite often I turn Palkia's damage output to like 40 damage, we heal it with Team Yeltal, hit them for 200. You're doing 200 damage a turn, they're effectively doing zero. You could do the math, you will eventually win. I've had terrible starts against Palkia, with and without Starmie. You gotta watch out for that though, in case you attach a bunch of energies. And then Max Rockfell will eventually get to them. So uh, Stone Gift can uh, certainly go away. And I mean, Avery and things like that can really help out. Same thing with putting on a bunch of stone fighting energies, because you just wanna build up a stone Jurner VMAX with a bunch of stone fighting energies, reducing your opponent's damage and going full face guard, reducing it more to the point where you just slow them down to a full Full stop or almost as close as possible and then go max rock fall max rock fall we have a copy of boss's orders to bring stuff up that we want to we did add in a couple copies of pal pad because that would be quite strong against most decks uh, just so we can get back uh, phoebe full six times if we need to against mill tank decks or anything else like that got Kabu since we're only gonna have one Pokemon we can shuffle draw eight very powerful uh, Phoebe to go through anything like I said the mill tanks we got the Pokemon Center Lady to heal and since our opponent's likely not drawing prize cards we can use schoolgirl to uh, draw four cards at a time uh, and that's really what we're gonna be doing stone gift heal stone gift heal and get to a point where we're max rock falling um, and we're not getting knocked out just knowing where your opponent's end is for that really helps out a lot um, Favorable matchup against Arkintel, favorable matchup against uh, Palkia, very favorable matchup against uh, the Flying Pikachu deck. Like, there's a lot of decks that you beat that are very meta on trend, and with Mew not seeing so much play, Stone Journey VMAX seems like an excellent play going forward. And I mean, maybe these issues solve the Mewtwo V Union matchup. At least that's what the idea is. So that being said, we'll jump to some gameplay. Hopefully I can play against an Arkantel or Palkia and show you how this deck works. Beyond that, we'll see how it goes. But like I said, hit me up for some coaching if you're looking for that. That sweet 30% off discount um, in the description would be sick. And if you want to copy and paste this list right into PTCGO and play along with me, it's all right there for you to do as well. So our opponent's calling the coin flip and we lost the coin flip. That's okay. We're okay going seconds. Um, that means that we could play a supporter on our first turn, so that's kind of cool. See what our opponent's uh, getting set up here. They might just be trying to think uh, <laughs> whatever's going on. I'm not entirely sure. So we got we got a decent hand here. We got Ston Jenner. We got Schoolgirl. We have full face guard. We can go guard press. We should be pretty good uh, because with guard press and full face guard, I think that's a great opportunity for us to uh, just be in this game. So we'll see. They got a basic Pokemon. Let's see what they flip up. Um, I'm not entirely sure what they're going to flip up here. Maybe uh, our opponent went AFK or something like that and just queued into a game and didn't realize what's going on. Uh, we're playing against a Palkia deck, so I'm okay playing against Palkia. Um, Palkia is a pretty favorable matchup as long as we're able to get set up here. I think that's what our goal is going to be, is just getting set up. Now, they might be thinking through their options. Okay, so they're not away from keyboard. It wouldn't just play a Hisuian Heavy Ball for them. That's fine. Um... We have opportunities to just kind of outpace our opponent, use Avery, cut down on their bench, and we're basically going to try to cut their damage just low to zero as possible and just be able to kind of brush that off with cards like Team Yell Towel and uh, Pokemon Center Lady. So we should be okay. I don't think we're getting knocked out. I don't think our opponent can do that much damage. Before we play anything, let's go Schoolgirl here, here and draw in some cards. Um, I'm going to go Stone Fighting Energy, uh, full face guard, and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, guard press and we're going to do minus 60 damage from our opponent's pokemon so they have to be basically do the equivalent of 280 to knock us out and that's where our goal is we don't need to put another star on v down uh, because we're not in danger of getting knocked out our opponent cannot do 280 even if they go leon um leon hydro break choice belts uh, i mean maybe they could if they went leon hydro break choice belt zigzagoon ping zigzagoon ping all the power to them i don't think they got that in their hands uh I, I don't think that's possible leon choice belt yeah i don't i don't think we're there um regardless we just kind of got to watch out to see what our opponent can do next turn i can fully imagine that we are going to aim to use stone journey v max stone gift mixed with team yell tell we don't care about the 40 damage by the way um but they're evolving so that's going to reduce their output by uh 40 damage so they're they're doing even less damage than that's and next turn we can even go Kabu, we can go Pokegear, depending on whatever our opponent does. 
uh, we got options here and our opponent might just concede this game we'll see I, the first few turns usually they're like okay we'll try to fight through this uh, i wouldn't be surprised if they conceded this is not the first uh, time that i attempted to record a game with uh son jenner v max it's tough out here as a content creator if you uh if you see a content creator don't scoop your games because they're probably just trying to get a video out you know what i'm saying like i know if your hands bad or get anything else like that or uh, it's just tough sometimes that's that's my vent for the day hopefully everyone else is having a wonderful day i mean i'm, I'm playing uh, the absolute stones deck this deck is the stones uh, and it beats palkia so if you've been uh, losing a palkia and i mean i think these are a buck a piece literally in real life maybe three bucks a piece for the v maxes or something like that uh it, it's absolutely budget um or my definition of budget at least i think like you could build this deck for like under 50 bucks in real life you could build this deck for like virtually no packs online it's sick so definitely definitely try that out um definitely 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 try that out so yeah it looks like our opponent got uh everything set up necessary to do what they want uh, i wouldn't be surprised if they grabbed capacious bucket and a pokemon so that they are good to do the full amount of damage yeah the tool jammer is not going to uh it's it's just plus 20. um I, i'd rather have the tool jammer than a choice belt because choice belt does plus 30 so I, I, at the end of the day i'll cope with my uh <laughs> the additional 10 damage or the 10 damage less so there's their star portal so they're even going star portal here uh which means they might struggle late game to get everything all set up so let's uh let's see our opponent's gonna hit us for um not a lot you can see 120 not enough uh so that means that our Ston journey here is gonna fully heal and since we top decked avery uh we're just gonna go with avery here so before we do anything else we will start reducing our opponent's damage And we're waiting. I'm, I'm assuming they're going to discard Luminion and maybe Radiant Greninja. Cool. Uh, not what I was expecting, but we're going to go like this. Um, since we didn't get another energy to attach for our turn, we're just going to save the energy for Stone Gift. And we are going to heal all that damage that our opponent just did. So you can see that our HP is grown um, again. So our opponent right now is hitting for 60, uh, 100, are 60 80 100 120 120 minus 20 they're hitting for 100 damage a turn um and they're they're struggling out here like it, it's one of those things where every single turn i progress my board state with energies um to the point where i can use max rock fall and i will continuously reduce them with avery to the point where they are uh we're, we're grinding that chalk to the ground you know what i'm saying like it is absolutely over uh, for our opponent now that we got some decent setup uh, this one stone journey v max should be enough to absolutely sweep our opponent's board now if they play things like double quick shooting or something like that things can get a little bit sketchy Palkialists don't really play that or anything else like that and even with double quick shooting i think we're probably okay because uh, we're gonna get to the point where we can start attacking into this palkia like we are an attacking deck we're just going to take the first few turns of the game to uh kind of get set up so I think that's something to definitely consider here. So there's uh hopefully they fill full bench again. I mean, it, it just means more for us to discard. Most lists are not playing Nessa. Most lists are not playing Ordinary Rod. Uh, so yeah, it looks like they're going to drop that other Sobble. The whole gang's here. And they're going to hit us for 160 minus uh, 20. So they're going to be hitting us for 140 damage. So 140, really not a lot for us um not really worried about that right now and uh we got another sonjourner that's fine let's go see if we can get an avery no avery there um since it probably makes more sense for us to do it like this i'm gonna go ahead and go team yell towel um i don't care about the 40 damage on them at all so that saves us from getting knocked out again because their max damage output is um yeah, they, 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 they can't hit the 200 uh, damage that they need, the 240 that they need. And uh, we could go Schoolgirl. I mean, part of me wants to play Schoolgirl. I think Schoolgirl sounds like a good plan here. Awesome. So we have an energy there that we're going to attach for our turn. Um, and But I do want to keep it pretty simple and heal. So I'm going to go Stone Gift here, and this is really where the deck gets into the position where we're at zero damage. Um, our opponent's going to hit us for 120 because we have another Stone Energy on here. Again, since our opponent plays Tool Jammer, full face guard's not going to be affected. 
Uh, so right now our opponent is doing 120. 120 allows us to go Hyper Potion, we can attach, and then we attack. So we have zero and we did 200. Now our opponent's at this position where um, we're doing more damage to our opponent than they are actively doing to us. And we might be even able to go Pokemon Center, Lady, Heal, Attach, get another energy up on there. Uh, just so that we do not miss a beat. So we are, uh, in, we're in good hands here. Uh, as long as we don't, like, as long as they don't Marty us into nothing, and that can sometimes be the case, um, by the time they play Roxanne, you're probably in an okay enough spot. Like, there, there's some cases where a or V Max can be a bit of a clunky deck, but I mean, I think the deck has enough options right now. If they're doing quick shooting, I mean, we just gotta pay attention to that, quick shooting, scoop of nets, all that kind of stuff. But um, right now, I think we're in complete control with Palkia, and we're beating Palkia with a literal pile of stones. Uh, it's it's literally bulk. So there's their subspace spell. Now they're doing 120. So what we're going to do here is actually go Pokemon Center Lady to heal. And I don't want to attach an extra energy because like they could go Scoop Up Net, Starmie, Melanie, Attach, Retreat, Game. Um... So let's go Pokemon Center Lady here. And then we're gonna go ahead and go uh, max Rock Ball for 200 damage. Next turn, we should be able to heal with uh, Hyper Potion and go Kabu. And maybe be able to heal everything off and put ourselves in a position where we have a fresh Dawn Journey. We took two prize cards. And when you take prize cards, you're also reducing your opponent's bench size. And we're also taking care of things like Tool Jammer and stuff like that. Like right now, we're in a prime position uh, to be up in this game. And I mean, again, you got to watch out for things like Hydro Break doing 200 damage plus Choice Belts. Um, but that that's really where it's at. So I, I'm, I'm just a little bit worried that things like that could come down. But even like 230 minus 60 is 170, 170 plus quick shooting is 190. Even they got double quick shooting, they're doing 210, they put us at 270. And we could heal till we're at 150, and then heal till we're at one, uh, till we're at 30, 30 with stone gift. So we have opportunities here, and with training court, we can kind of use a lot of hyper potions really quickly. So we'll see what kind of list our opponent's playing. Um, so far we don't see any quick shootings but if we start seeing quick shootings we just got to watch out for that and eventually avery will get them to a point where like they've already have two basic pokemon in their discard pile we're just trying to get to that point where we draw into things and it's a it's a slow process i mean we're not playing slow our opponent is playing a little bit slower than us not to say that they're playing slow but um they have taken an extra like six minutes off the clock than us um Whereas we're just attach, attack, attach, attack. Um, so we're very quick. Um, if you are playing Stone Journey in real life, I, I just would recommend that you get your opponent to play at a similar pace to you and that they're not just trying to turn games into ties. So just watch out for that. Some people like to slow play against decks like Stone Journey and they think it's okay because it's control. It's not okay to slow play against your opponent at all. It's uh, very much against the rules. So yeah, Stone Journey is, uh, our attacks are quick, very, very, very quick. And you can see they're just searching everything out. Um, we can even get to a deco scenario. Like we have 32 cards, they have 16 cards, but to be 18 cards, that's fine. Uh, we have cards for days, we're fine. And if we were ever worried about getting knocked out, we can put other Stone Journey V down and uh, evolve into another Stone Journey V Max, restarting the process. So subspace swell, you can see they hit us for 120. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, here's, uh, here's the situation I was talking about. So we're gonna go Hyper Potion. So we're going to discard the, uh, some energies, uh, discarding some uh, fighting energies, not the stone fighting energies. And since the team yell towel is not going to matter here, uh, there's all their hard work over the past couple turns, even if we healed them. Um, I don't know if I want to play Kabu. I'm probably just going to play Phoebe. I don't think we really need too much here. Um, maybe we do. Maybe I want to play Kabu. I just don't want them to go Marnie as soon as I play it. So I'm going to play Phoebe and we're fine here. We're just going to go uh, Max Rockfall, take two prize cards, and uh, yeah, that's the Tool Jammer. So now our opponent, uh, they're doing plus 10 damage, and I mean, the Avery was a sick top deck there. Got to watch out for how much damage our opponent can do, but the fact that they're attacking with Origin Form Palkia V-Star is fine. Um, if they bench one more Pokemon, they're doing 190 because of that. 190 minus 60. So 190 minus 60 is 130. 
which puts us at 140 with stone gifts. So they're doing it effectively uh, 10 damage a turn. Okay, so they do play the Starmie. Um, that is something that we got to watch out for. Um, we're not going to put all the energies there in the worlds. Um, and once we can heal and attack with max rockfall against a Starmie, we just take it out for the game. But I think I really want to just play the Avery next turn and maybe go stone gift. That's really where our uh, best case scenario comes from. If they hit us for 150 minus 60 and they hit us for 90, I'm okay with that as well. Uh, there's a certain threshold where you could just attack again and I could take care of the Starmie. If they retreat fully, like they, they will run out of energies at some points. Yeah, so there's uh, there, there's their 130 damage. And um, yeah, we could heal that off. So what I'm going to go ahead here is go Avery. Let's reduce their, uh, let's reduce some things that they have going on here. We might even be able to get lucky off the lucky ice pop too. Like I'm okay with that if we got a little lucky off lucky ice pop. Let's see what we got heads. Now we could just go for stone gift, and stone gift puts them at 200 minus 60, 140, and then we heal and then we attack them. I think our best case scenario here is just to go stone gift. Um, I'm fine with I'm fine with it, but first I want to go pal pad and put back in Avery Avery, um, so that we can continuously just demolish their bench. And yeah, let's go stone gift here. Um, yeah, that sounds great. So they might retreat and attack us with the Starmie, thinking it's better. We're just gonna go ahead and go for hyper potion. We can always use training cord, attach back, heal off everything that they just did, and attack us with Starmie V. So, I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. They are continuously going through their bench, but if you look one, two, three, um, four, five um, basic Pokemon on their bench, they are actively running out of resources. And we could sit here and maybe heal for the rest of the game um, just by using hyper potions and stuff like that as they burn through many resources in their deck. So they do play the quick shooting. Um, a little bit of an unconventional list, nothing like crazy. But the quick shooting uh, certainly does add up. The lucky ice pop is going to make that uh, work out here. So you can see that our opponent's really not going to be doing anything against us here. There's their 130 damage. We could heal off the 150 relatively easily. So what we want to do here is go hyper potion away this. Take those two away. We're going to put that back. Um, I might want to try to get another stone fighting energy to be honest. So let's go lucky ice pop Let's see if we can get heads and just heal everything off boom heal everything off And then lucky ice pop is back. I think at this point. I'm completely fine to go Kabu. Um, I would like to get another stone fighting energy just to reduce our opponent's damage output So we didn't get there um, That's fine, but we could go ahead here and attach this for our turn I'm going to go Training Core just to get an extra Fighting Energy back into our hand. There's no reason not to. And we're going to go ahead and go Max Rockfall. We're at zero damage again. You can see that like we are able to go through this. I mean, our hand's dead, but we even have access to Stone Gift to heal, Team Yell Towel to heal. Um, and our opponent's really not doing too much damage to us. Like, they are actively, like, once they lose Choice Belt, that's another minus 30 for game. Um, like... They've used, they usually play one choice belt, one full, um, or one uh, tool jammer, one one choice belt, or two choice belts, one scrapper, but they're just trying to plug as much damage into us uh, to win this game. And I mean, they're, they're doing like 150 damage at a time. Part of me wants to heal and just go boss. Um, I, I, I don't, I actually just don't think our opponent can do enough damage uh, with what we have. So I'm, I'm going to go with Pokegear first here. And I, I'm totally fine with Schoolgirl. Uh, I don't want to Kabu this hand because it's I think it's so close to just being super good. Um, can our opponent hit? So if we heal here and attack there, I think we can win the game the following turn. So if we hit here, our opponent can do um, 20 damage. 
So we'd heal and we're at 100. Uh, so that means we have 230, 290. I don't think they could do 290, so I'm just going to heal from the active. I'm going to go training court here, attach. And I'm going to go ahead and attack us with uh, max rockfall. So I'm going to be a little bit safe and put this Dawn Junior down. This does uh, for each energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. So it might be a little bit of a bait there. I'm just worried that our opponent goes rock sand. So that's the reason why I'm taking it a little bit safe. Um, but we just go attack there and then we go boss's orders, knock out the Starmie to win the game. That's that's our game plan at this point. I think that's the most direct way to winning this game. Um, and like I said, you don't need to play Dynatree Hell Down. That can totally get you. But if our opponent does not find a way around Training Court, we still have access to Training Court uh, Stone Gift for the rest of the game. And I, I think they're just going to try to attack into us with Palkia because it has more HP. Um, but maybe they'll play Roxanne. I mean, Roxanne is certainly the best card that they could possibly play in this situation. There's their Water Energy. Yeah, there's Roxanne. Let's see what we get. Uh, we don't have the boss, um, but we, we certainly have opportunities here. Avery is fine. As long as they don't play anything around the training court, we do have access to Stone Gift, and that's what we gotta watch out for. Maybe they'll play Path to the Peak. And this is just our first Dawn Journey. Um, we, we could do this again. And I think that's really where the deck gets real, is that we went through this again. I'm glad that I put the Stan Jr. V down. I mean, we could have drawn into Dynatree Hill, Dynatree Hill. Um, but it looks like our opponent might just deck themselves out at some points. So, yeah, they're still just going after the Stan Jr. And there's no choice belt. There's no nothing. You can see their subspace swell is getting a little bit pathetic at 100. And, uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do here is just go Avery, reducing our opponent's uh, damage again. We're gonna go training court get an energy and uh yeah we're gonna go ahead here and uh evolve and we're gonna go stone gift onto our active gotta watch out because paul uh the starmie does count everything in play so we gotta watch out for that so our opponent is now effectively doing 60 120 120 minus 60 they're doing 60 damage a turn with palkia and they're down to four cards left in their deck like how many more resources can they have how many more basic pokemon can they do right like if we just draw into a hyper potion we're good like cabo is virtually it's not super effective because of the ston journer but we can go on for some turns here i think we've played two hyper potions out of our four so right now we're, we're kind of chilling there's their subspace spell you love to see it 80 damage cool um we could heal again, but let's see what we get with uh, Pokegear here. Uh, Pokegear with the... Yeah, they're just going to concede because they know that we're on this for the rest of the game. We got it. So we take those against Palkia. And that's what we got going on. As you can see, Stawn Jirter could just sit there and heal and continuously reduce Palkia's damage to the point where Palkia just kind of crawls back into being like, what do we do against this deck? The answer is nothing. And our opponent had every answer, including Quick Shooting and Starmie, the worst possible combination for our deck. And it was still virtually free. I felt like I could have lasted another 60 turns if I really needed to. Um, within like i'm just like it's you know what i'm saying like i'm exaggerating a little bit but not really by much uh so stone jenner v max i think it beats uh arkintel i think it beats palkia um some of the dynatree hill uh phoebe kind of technique with pal pad should be good against mewtwo beats the flying pikachu deck uh probably takes a very quick l to mewtwo or to mew um i think that's that's certainly a possibility but i think it's uh, a very real deck heading into the world championship so maybe you want to pick up these cards uh online go to ptcgeostore.com plug in code zlassage5 to save off your next order of codes again ptcgeostore awesome super quick uh, 24 7 delivery on those codes you go to atlastcg.com plug in code zlassage8 to save eight percent on your next order of anything site-wide including sealed product all that stuff really does help out and 
shipping worldwide is awesome. Um, and if you're trying to uh, up your game, you can go to metafy.gg slash at Lesage, get some coaching again in the description. You can use code M-F-Y-E-O-M. Um, it's in the description. It saved 30% off your first coaching session on Metafy with me. And I'd really love to help you uh, get where you want to go. Really help support me going to things like the world championships and all these upcoming events, creating these uh, gear doesn't pay for itself. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is my full-time job. So any help would be absolutely great there. And I'd love to help you on your journey. If you want to pick up some uh, TC Evolutions products, go to tcevolutions.com, plug in code Zach10, save 10% off some high quality aluminum uh, manufactured dice, dice, damage counters, markers, all that kind of stuff. So check that out. Um, that being said, I appreciate everyone watching this video. Let me know in the comments. I got some good news coming up. Um, I'm going to share with everyone. Uh, it's it's interesting news. So I'll, I'll share with uh, however things are going on there. Uh, very soon on the channel. Expect within the next week or two. Um, but yeah, it's going to be uh, very different for me going forward. But I'm excited about my opportunities. And uh, I appreciate everything. So I'll catch up with all y'all later. Take your best guesses in the comments below. Peace out and have a great one. If you're looking for a great deal on some physical Pokemon TCG cards, you can head over to atlascollectibles.com or atlastcg.com, type in whatever cards you're looking for. So Arceus V-Star is absolutely hot right now. Let's search up Arceus V-Star. You can see they have a great selection of cards and it's continuously getting new stock all the time. And we can add these to our cart. You can see I already added um, one to my cart. So when you're going to check out, you can use code ZLASSAGE8, use that code, and you could save off your order. That was $4.80 of savings just off of an Arceus V-Star. It's all in Canadian pricing and they do shipping across the world. So by all means, check out atlastcg.com, atlascollectibles.com and use code ZLASSAGE8 to save on your next order of physical Pokemon TCG cards. Check out ptcgeostore.com, the best place to get Pokemon TCG online codes. There's a lot of selection available, and I have a discount code available for the website as well. You can pick up any kind of cards, just going up here. You can add them to your cart and any quantity that you need to get the cards that you need. And you can go to the discount code right over here, and you can put in code ZLASSAGE5 to save 5% on your next order of codes. Are you trying to get better at Pokemon TCG? Well, if you are, you're in the right place. I offer coaching at metafy.gg slash atzaclassage. That link is in the description and you pick up a coaching session from me and book it on the website. I likely have availability this week and you can see exactly what my availability cal calendar is at any given time. I offer training plans to help players get ready for any of their upcoming events, including getting all the way to the world championships, or you can pick up a one-on-one -on -one coaching session from me and learn the game at your own pace. I offer a variety of opportunities for players to get better at the game and it's one of those things where there's a lot of players who i've turned into regional international and even a world champion along the way um, if there's anything that shows i have an faq on the website so by all means check it out and get better today i'd love to help you on your pokemon journey and be absolutely amazing to see your growth head on over to tcevolutions.com for some high quality aluminum manufactured Pokemon TCG accessories, um, including their new V-Star markers uh, that you can see that they have right here. They also have ability markers that have by all means saved me some stress at Pokemon events. You can see uh, right here, if you put it on your Pokemon, such as Drizzile or your Radiant Greninja, you can tell when you use your ability so you do not use an ability again. That's gonna save you prize card penalties at events and save you uh, potentially thousands of dollars if you play well enough with those. I know they've certainly saved me. That being said, use code Zach10 to save 10% off anything site-wide at tcevolutions.com. This video is sponsored by PokeX Word, the best place to get your fill of Pokemon-inspired crossword puzzles. New puzzles are posted every single Sunday, and it's a great way to disconnect and have some fun. Uh, they also host monthly giveaways on their channel, so be sure to check those out. I personally complete these puzzles every single week, and sometimes they're pretty challenging. Let's check out one of the hard ones. So if we check out here, there's a lot of things that are, might be difficult here. Um, so if it's a little bit too bit difficult for you, you can always go and complete the normal ones that might be a little bit easier. Um, they're, they're pretty fun though. Definitely check them out. Um, be sure to follow PokeXWord on Twitter at PokeXWord and get notified when new puzzles go up um, and when their monthly giveaways are live. I truly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means the world to me. 
and my goal with this channel is to spread my love of the game and knowledge with our entire Pokemon TCG community. If you haven't already, help Signal Boost this video to other Pokemon TCG fans by liking it, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Hopefully we reach our goals really soon. Check out this recommended video, and have yourself a great day. Thanks.